Good morning, Austin, Montreal. Today is Wednesday, March 10th. I'm Izzy with your daily beach break news. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Lunch choices for today will be pizza, and as always, salad and, and inventory of the robots. Tomorrow we will be having chicken tenders. This is a reminder that breakfast and lunch are free every day in the cafeteria. Please remember to follow OSTL expectations in the cafeteria, which means voice level 1 or 2, stay seated facing forward, and raise your hand if you need anything. Now to Anaya. Good morning, OSTL. I'm Anaya with your Did You Know for today. Did you know Women's History Month started a week as a week-long celebration in 1978? It was declared a month-long celebration in 1987 and has been celebrated ever since. Now to Dempsey with the weather. I'm Dempsey with your daily weather report. Today will be partly cloudy with a 10% chance of rain. Temperatures will be a high of 68 degrees and a low of 58 degrees. Now to Kylie with special announcements. Good morning, Osceola. I'm Kylie. Yearbooks are, in sale, are still on sale for $15. You can order online or send in your order form. These books will sell out, so be sure to order yours today. Students, this Friday is picture day. We will be taking our class group photos and spring individual photos. Photos can be ordered online or with the order forms that were sent home. Last week, we celebrated Read Across America Day all week long. We love seeing all, your dress, all of you dressed as your favorite storybook characters. Here are some photos from that day. Burner. Good morning, boys and girls, and happy Wednesday. All right, boys and girls, I know you already know this if you're a third, fourth, or fifth grader, but April 6th and 7th are coming up before we know it when you're going to take your FSA reading or your writing. Third grade's taking reading, fourth and fifth are taking writing. The whole campus is going to be supportive of, of you guys taking the state test that day, and we know how hard you're working. And on that note, boys and girls, we didn't have that many boys and girls meet the February iReady challenge where they worked on iReady at home and they're earning an ice cream building Sunday party and extra recess. We're gonna have another iReady challenge in March, the week of spring break. Spring break starts for all of you on Friday, March 19th. You're gonna have from Friday all the way, not the first Monday, but the next Monday before you come back. So that's, I think, nine days to do iReady, 45 minutes each, 70% or higher will earn you probably another ice cream, build your own Sunday party and extra recess. So I wanna challenge boys and girls to do, to get as many students as we can, K through five, to earn that party. Right now for February, we have 16 students and you're gonna hear those names coming up on the announcements soon that earned the February challenge. Congratulations to those 16. Have a great day, boys and girls. From all of us at Beach Break News, have an awesome Osceola day.